Hey guys, Calvin Gamer here, and it's time for some car fry news. All right, guys. So this is um, my mistake. I totally forgot and lost track of the day. So that's why the episode's being uploaded so late. And so I really do apologize about that. So just like usual, we're just gonna jump right into it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. There's not too much in here, so I'll be adding a couple more stuff. Um, they, had, they posted a couple more articles, so we'll be looking at those as well. Alright, so let's jump right into it. So, basically, we got some news today about the anime. So, first of all, we get a glimpse of the next episode that's coming up. We have a Foo Fighter man member, the guy named Minami. So, he'll be fighting... Kamoi and we also get to look at the globes made by Tetsu which are called VF globes which causes actual damage to the player so that's gonna be interesting and since this guy is also a Foo Fighter we're gonna be seeing his clan in action as well so I can't, uh, I'm really excited to see where uh, the play style goes from here so yeah that is pretty much it for that going on here we have some confirms Charlene and Jillian, which are Leon's younger um, sisters, they're going to be confirmed into the anime. So, surprisingly enough, they're not seen right now, but like I said, it is confirmed, so we get to see them later on. Going on here, we have a little news about uh, Kenji. So, he has, in the previous anime, we got a look at his two other teammates pretty quickly. But for this one, we don't um, get to see them as quickly, so it does state it is inferred for them to exist, so uh, as it says right here, so we get to look forward to that. Alright, going on, so they had the fight on their channel, so they were kind enough to put down their deck list on their build for the fight, so this one was between Aqua Force and Dimensional Police. I'll be going through it um, with you guys. To let you guys um have a user time. You guys want to hear the deck list without reading it, so I'll be doing the reading for you guys. All right. So right off the bat, we got an introduction to the Aqua Force Clan build, a uh, deck build, excuse me. So going right off that, we have great threes. So starting off, we have four Blue Storm Dragon Maelstroms, two Storm Rider Diamantes, two Naval Gazer Dragons, and one Riptide. So these are your grade three units. And yeah, that is it for grade threes. Going on, we have grade two. We have marine, four marine generals of relentless tides algos, four tidal assaults, and four storm rider basil. So those are their grade two units. Going on here, we have four tier knights. Oh, excuse me, these are grade ones. So going on from there, we have four tier knights Theo, four light signal penguin soldiers. Yes, penguin soldier. <laughs> um, two battle sirens Bibiana. One Influent Dagger and one Storm Rider Stelios. Going on, we have our Great Zeros. So for this one, we have Officer Cadet Eric, our first Vanguard, Supersonic Sailor, our Critical Trigger at two. We have four Emerald Shield Peshal, which are Draw Triggers, but also Sentinels. One Pyrosen, uh, Pyroseni, which is uh, Pyro Sending Communication Sea Otter Soldier, which is our draw trigger. We have four Dolphin Soldiers of High Speed Raids Front Trigger. We have one Outbreak Outride, excuse me, Jago Kid Front Trigger, and four Medical Officers of Rainbow Lecture Heal Trigger. So we are going to be seeing a balance between jaw triggers and crit triggers in here. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see here. So yeah. Oh, front triggers and um, jaw triggers, excuse me. So yeah. Alright, going on. Next we have here our Dimensional Police. So for this one, our Grade 3s are 4 Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Dayusha and 4 Dimensional Robo Dayusha. And those are our Grade 3s. Going on, we have our Grade 2s here. 4 Dimensional Robos Die Dragon, 4 Cosmo Breaks, 3 Mass Police Grandier. That's it for our grade 2s. Going on to grade 1s, we have 4 Dimensional Robo Die Brave, 4 Dimensional Robo Die Mariner, 
three dimensional robo die tiger, two dimensional robo die lander, and one commander laurel. So that is it for a grade ones going on. We have our grade zeros. So for this one, we have one dimensional robo Gaiusha, which is going to be our starting vanguard, four justice cobalt, which are going to be our critical triggers, four dimensional robo die battles, which are another set of critical triggers. 4 Diamond Ace, which are Draw Trigger Sentinels, and 4 Dimensional Robo Go Skew Rescue, excuse me. Sorry about that. Go Rescue. So that is going to be our Heal Trigger, I believe. So that is it for that. We get a quick glimpse of what's going to be in the Asian Circuit Champs. So these are going to be our Gift Markers, as well as our VRs. And that's, um, I believe those are VRs, right? BRs and stuff, so these are going to be um, looks they look pretty nice to be honest. So <laughs> that's it for that. So going on here, we got a quick um, commercial kind of thing for the trial decks. So that's going to be released on August 10th to the 31st. So it's going to be the trial deck for Shadow Paladins. So, for this one, I'm not sure it's going to be California, that's why I didn't really go through it, but you know what, I thought my might as well be a good idea to do it, excuse my, uh, my voice about that, a uh, good idea to do that. So, going on, let's uh, cover this real quick. So, for August Shop Tournament Goods, we're going to be getting a G Standard, uh, it's going to be giving G Standard Participant Gift, Battle Serum Melania, and Vanguard Coupon. We have G standard winner cards, Blue Wave, Armor General, Galphila, Leah, Standard Premium, Standard Participation Gift, Special Pack, Volume 1, uh, Vanguard Coupon Card, uh, Standard Slash Premium, Standard Winner Card, it's a Light Signal, Penguin Soldier. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be in US, we're just going to have to see, but yeah. So, for getting the trial decks, um, I believe these are going to be... Uh, it looks like it says August Card Fry Exchange event. So participants participants will be getting one or two stickers, which are going to be Dementia Please or the Aqua Force. So that is going to be a quick glimpse of that. You also get to see some sleeves and some other stuff coming out. So that is it for the news that they released. There are some extra stuff which I'll be covering right now. So yeah. So the first thing we'll be looking at is Commander Laurel D. They announced his skill. So for him, he is a grade one unit, and he is going to be a power base at six thousand six k, a shield at twelve ten k, and act rear guard circle only, which is once per turn. So that's a uh, counter blast one. Rest four of your rear guards. Choose one of your units and until the end turn, doubles power and it gets critical plus one. So this is going to be adding pressure to um, to your unit. So this is going to be interesting to see, you guys, because putting an extra critical on the side could really push your opponent pretty far. All right, so that's going to be an interesting set because it also gets its power doubled, which is going to be pretty hefty. So going on from there, we have our grade two unit here. We have Mass Police Grandeur, which is a 10k power base with a 5k shield and a continuous regard effect. If your Vanguard is critical is 2 or greater, this unit gets plus 5k. So he's sitting on a 15. If you add him with Commander Laurel D's effect, he'll be sitting at a 30k with extra critical. That's what I mean. He is going to be pretty hefty, you guys. So we're just going to have to see. Um, it's combos. Alright, so. As it for that, um, we'll be looking at a couple more cards as well. Along um, with this, so the first thing we have here now is we have Stormbrand Demantis, and his he is a grade three unit, Excel gift marker for him. So he is a 12k power base, is a auto vanguard and rearguard of circle effect. When it attacks, if it's the first battle of this turn, it gets plus 3 cancel in a turn. And he has a regard effect once per turn when it attacks. If it's the third battle 
of the turn or more, counter blast one, discard a card from your hand, stand this unit, gets power minus 3k into the end turn. So what's going to be hefty about this is if you get a critical on him uh, with the power boost, he is going to be pretty hefty, you guys, because you can attack with him first and then have it boosted on the fourth attack phase kind of thing. So this is going to be some pretty hefty numbers. So going on here, we also got an announcement for Trident Shooter. He is a 9k base and a 5k shield. Auto rearguard circle effect at the end of the battle, it attacked the vanguard. If this unit is on an additional rearguard circle, counter blast one and soul blast one and exchange the position of this unit and one of your rear guards. So this is going to be basically kind of re standard kind of thing as well. Uh, we saw this in GR. If you guys don't know, you just swap spots with a unit. So basically, he is adding another attack to your line so it's gonna be pretty interesting all right so next thing we have a look at it's gonna be maelstrom so we we got the effect here for maelstrom which is gonna be in your deck build for aqua force i believe you guys are gonna build that kind of deck so maelstrom is gonna be a grade 3 vanguard unit with a magic gift excel 12k base he has an act ability once per turn on Vanguard Circle, Counter Blast 1, and all your front row gets plus 3k until the end of the turn. He has an auto Vanguard ability once per turn when one of your rear guard units attack hits a Vanguard. If it was the third or fourth battle of this turn, cost this card two of your cards from your hand and stand this unit. So this is really good because you get to restand him and you also get another trigger. Uh, Trigger checks with this, charge trigger checks. So you're gonna be getting some pretty hefty numbers depending on how many triggers you get, as well as pressure for his crits. So yeah. So next here we have title assault. Excuse me, assault. Title assault. So he is our grade two unit, 9k power base, 5k shield. He has all ability on rear circle. When it attacks, soul blast one, stand this unit, and if this so the second battle of his turn or more, so he gets power minus 5k. So it's kind of, yeah, it, he is going to be at a 4k power boost, but it won't, I don't see it mattering too much depending on the unit that's supporting him in the back row. So we're just gonna, just gonna have to see how this plays out, you guys. But yeah, just a lot of stuff. Um, I'll do one more card here, and for this one we have Dancing Cutlass. So I believe this is a Grand Blue deck um, card. So for this one we have a Grade One unit, which is a 6K and 10K shield, Act and Drop Zone ability. So buy one of your other Dancing Cutlass from your Drop Zone and put the top card of your deck to your Drop Zone. Call this unit to Regard Circle and Counter Charge. So for Grand Blue, he's going to be your counter charge, I believe. So this is going to be interesting to build as well, guys. So with that being said, um, pretty much that covers up for this episode of Cardfight News. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I do apologize. I totally lost dates. Uh, I'm not going to find an excuse for this. It should be on top of this, and I do apologize, guys. So, yeah. But still, I'll put the link in the description for... Uh, card fight correlation news so you guys can check out the information that I showed to you guys right in the description below as well as my Twitter and yeah that's it for me you guys hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one laters